Well, new tonight at 6, your tax dollars are being used to subsidize housing that is substandard. The federal government keeps paying the landlords, even though the properties fail inspection, sometimes year after year. And as Two Sides' Michael Wooten found out tonight, several of the complexes that did not make the grade, they're right here in our region. I feel like I'm stuck, stagnated, can't get out. I don't have any control at all over any of this. Erica Pierre and her daughter are among 40,000 families across the country living in substandard conditions in more than a thousand federally subsidized properties that got failing inspection grades. An NBC News investigation exposed housing complexes with mold, roaches, and rodents. The number of multifamily properties with failing scores is on the rise, just as HUD is cutting staff. And often landlords who cut corners with subpar properties still get paid by the government. It's not only possible, but it's considered legal and passable and acceptable by HUD. HUD records show three of those properties that got failing scores are right here in western New York. Sunnyside Manor Apartments in Bemis Point was inspected last December and scored below 60, failing. That property now has a receiver. The other two buildings that failed inspection are right near each other on Jefferson Avenue on Buffalo's east side. 1490 Estates failed inspection a little more than a year ago, and a property across the street called The Meadows scored only a 50 when it was inspected in December of 2016. HUD Secretary Ben Carson declined to be interviewed by NBC, but the agency said a review of the inspection process is underway and, quote, the secretary believes very deeply that families should not be forced to live in housing that's unsafe and taxpayers shouldn't be subsidizing it. Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.